Hello everyone. This is another late night general reading. Um, before I start my message, uh, I don't even know if I'm going to pull cards. You know, I'm just going to share with you the messages that I received for myself. But nationality does not define who you are. I have a friend of mine that I highly respect. He said, you know, why can't we just be? Okay, that was a beautiful message. He's like, right, you know, we're minorities, you know, we're black. You know, why do people have to say, you know, oh, that's what black people do. You know, oh, that's what white people do. It's like, why can't we just be who we are? And that's just who we are, right? You know, because the truth is, spirit is not going to judge us by the color of our skin here, okay? Spirit is going to judge us by our hearts, who we are from the inside out, okay? It doesn't matter how fake you pretend, okay? God, he can see you clearly, okay? Sometimes what it looks like is not what you think at all. Okay? Because we don't get paid to think. It's what we know. Okay? We don't go to work. Our boss doesn't have us... They don't have us on the clock. Okay? Earning a salary because they think we know what we're doing. No. They hired us because our credentials say that we are qualified and skilled. We have the know-how to get this job done. That's why we make the payroll, okay? So we don't get paid to think. It's important to know. That needed to be said, okay? Because there are so many people that profile people because, you know, that's what your kind does. You know, that's what you people, that you people, it's like, no. Don't. You know, see, God has no respect for a person or a race, okay? A lot of people don't understand what that means. That means he doesn't care what color you are, okay? Black, white, purple, yellow, green, orange, like I said. He's judging you by your heart. And if it's not in the right place, it doesn't matter how much money you have. Okay? It doesn't matter what you can physically offer. Because when we leave this place, we ain't taking nothing with us but, but our souls. That's it. And if our shit ain't right, we're going to lose that too. Like, <laughs> Yo, know, people need to get out of that energy. So anyway, <clears throat> I think I'm going to pull from a deck, right? I think I'm going to pull from a deck. Focus. That's what I'm hearing. Focus. <sighs> Alright, some people are focused on the wrong things. Right? Message, right. This is a message. Like, someone needed to hear that. You know, that's why I hit that record. Somebody is like profiling, judging the hell out of somebody for. It could be the color of their skin. Right. Home for who they are. A water sign for what they think this person represents. This person could be crossing boundaries. We got an air sign. Right. got message home water sign boundaries air sign soulmates okay so 
Yeah, somebody is like overstepping boundaries. Like talking about somebody's home life. And it's like, right, what they believe in, what they think is the truth is all wrong. I, I knew it. That's the energy I was picking up on. That's why I started the message the way I did. Jealousy. Okay, but this person is doing this out of some form of jealousy. <sighs> Because someone is really grounded. And this person is doing this, is living in the shadow side of themselves here. And they're trying to get people to follow them. That's why they're doing this. Okay? Yeah, somebody's trying to cause someone some trouble here. Yeah. They did something under the uh, full moon. Yeah. We got earth sign in reverse. Okay, so maybe someone didn't want to go along with someone's plan. Like, right, someone didn't want to go along with someone's plan here. And this earth sign was like, uh, no, you can do that. I don't like that idea. Right, friendships. Yeah, somebody was like, you want to do what? Yeah, this was a way to, somebody felt like they were going to have relief from something by doing this. You know, truth. This is the truth. Okay, this is the truth message here. Somebody who's been on a karmic path, okay, for the last eight years. And this cycle has been, like, dragging out for eight years here. Somebody's having, like, a power trip. Someone could be, like, 46, okay, in their late 40s. But someone is, like, someone needs to release themselves from something. Right? This person could have really been holding on to this for a long, long time. You know, it really took root at 42. Like, it's magic. They really started investing in magic at 42 against the situation. Like, but right, they found out somebody was protected. So, oh, this person got, they found out somebody is protected because they're divine feminine. We got air sign, um, I'm sorry, fire sign showing up. We got death. We got transmute energy. We got psychic healer. It's like, yeah, someone, someone is jealous of someone and spreading rumors and lies, okay? And wanted someone to go along with them with some bullshit. And this person was like, I'm not about to do that. Okay, but this person is still trying to cross these boundaries. But divine timing is showing up, okay? Yeah, that new moon, trust that someone is truly protected here. Spirit guides, shift. Yeah, someone is truly protected here. New life, we got the veil being lifted. Yeah, so someone's true colors is being exposed, okay? Someone is seeing someone's growth, and at the same time, someone is seeing someone else's jealousy. Mm-hmm. Someone is not someone's divine masculine. Yeah, someone is not supposed to be with someone here. Okay, and this could be why this earth sign is coming out in the reverse. Okay, this is, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, someone was trying to overstep boundaries here. They were trying to make something be that really wasn't. That's what I'm looking at here. They tried to label this person in a certain way, and that's not at all the way this person is really truly showing up. But that's what that's the boundary this person is overstepping. Okay? They're judging where they don't have the proper knowledge. Empty pages. Okay. <laughs> They figure by reading the cover, you know, they know all they need to know. Okay. And by what I mean by reading the cover, you know, oh, this book looks interesting. Oh, this book doesn't look like it's too interesting. You know, that's what this person did. They looked and they, you know, they read it for what they read it to be and they went with it. And it was all wrong. Yeah, the judgment was all wrong here. The magic. Time's up on the magic. The veil is being lifted on this hidden enemy. 
Right. New life. Transformation. The truth is out. I told you this person thought they had knowledge, but they had the book with empty pages. And now they cause a storm for themselves here. Yeah. <laughs> look. See how jealousy and then look, talesmen came out sideways. Whatever this person was believing to be their truth was not the truth. And now they got to take that with them. Okay, they have to live with the consequences of whatever they set the course of. They have to live with that. Yep. They were trying to transmute the energy. They were trying to make someone look the way they really weren't. You know what I mean? And that's negative. That's not... Like, why are you trying to forcefully change someone's identity from what it truthfully is? You know? Right, friendships. Whatever this is, this is going to cause people to walk away from this person. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because they're going to find out the truth. Fire sign. There's that fire sign again. They're going to find out the truth. There's the truth card. I shuffled the deck again. Right, there's a water sign involved there. Divine masculine, psychic healer. There we go. Message. I'm telling you, there's water sign again. Strong water sign. We got the death card. Yeah, but something is over. You know, something is over. Could be a physical death, but I feel like something. Right. There's been growth from this karmic path here. Yeah. This is over. Okay, whatever grudges this person has been over. Right. This release of power. Okay, this is over. Okay. This person tried to set you up to look like a monster, <laughs> like a terrible person. So what did I say? This person tried to make you look like a monster. Look at that. <laughs> this person trying to make you look like a whole entire demon. And that's far from the truth. And now look, they cause themselves a, a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of friendships. They could have even cost themselves a home. I don't know how far they took this, but they could be left out in the cold. They were trying to see you left out. Right, look. There's a death card in Divine Tyrant. This person was trying to get you left out. Divine Feminine, they, that is, they found out, you know, whoever I'm speaking to is a Divine Feminine, you know, good luck and fortune will follow you, you know, the friendships they were trying to end for you, you'll have new ones, right, this, focus, this person is focused on your faith, this person is focused on what you believe, okay, it's crazy, it's like this person invested in Thinking you were one way and just basing the facts on that and running with it. This is somebody from the past, okay? Somebody from the past that could have invested in some magic on you, okay? Because they felt like you were a problem that they needed to relieve. <laughs> right, listen, tells me. Whatever this person was believing was all wrong. But now this person is finding out the truth. This person, I'm going to say, is on a karmic path. Okay, they've been on a karmic path for a while, but they're about to have some sort of transformation. I'm hearing transformation from the truth. Okay. Yeah, so... Either you or this person, you know, have every reason to show gratitude from this situation. Because, you know, once the truth is exposed, you know, what else is there, <laughs> right? But 
whatever picture this person was painting of you, the veil has been lifted. Okay, and that's the message. And I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> stay blessed, stay safe, um, stay positive, and later.